What is up guys and welcome to what can only be described as one of the most random unique videos of my channel to date. Now I did originally have a intro recorded which is what you're seeing right now however due to what was actually planned to be discussed in this video and what was actually discussed in this video the entire intro was completely pointless so I've decided to dub over it with this. So just to give you a little idea of what this video will be is it's basically a 25 minute rant about why matchmaking in many games including CSGO which is what you'll see at the moment is kind of broken due to the player systems and just a whole lot of things. Don't worry I will go into that more into the video but without further ado let's get straight into the actual real video with Livecom. Okay so let's see how we actually do on this then. So straight away already two down the rank is nova 2 slash nova 3 i do have quite a few things i want to discuss actually at the moment but i guess we'll see how the pistol round goes first half and see what else happens this part is live so this has been also streamed all oh, nice this has been streamed on my twitch channel live so if you ever want to catch up on i'm doing roughly daily slash two times three times a day potentially depending on what i'm streaming so I do have quite a lot of content being streamed at the moment. I don't know how long that will last for because knowing me, things don't tend to be streamed that long. But So I'm just trying to concentrate. Will we get the kill? Oh, he's doing... Right, we've got the bomb, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So yeah, I'll say there's quite a few things I need to discuss really on this one. First of all, saying that yes, there should hopefully be some regular content uploaded to my YouTube channel. I, again, I don't quite know whether the majority of that would be just highlights from streams or whether that be custom content that I've actually made purely for YouTube. Again, we're kind of all up in the air about what will happen there. As you might see, I am playing CSGO at the moment, but again, I'm going to try and play a variety of games. Rocket League, there should be some content, if not already be uploaded, but will be uploaded as far as some Rocket League plays for my friends. There are also going to be tons of other games. I have plan on doing some Call of Duty content, which is something that my channel a long, long time ago had quite a lot of. Unfortunately, as time progressed, I've kind of got less or well, more disassociated with the brand of Call of Duty, but the past couple of years, since mainly Modern Warfare 2019, I've kind of gotten back into it. Anyway, that's not really what the content is I'm discussing at the moment. So, the main thing I'm here to talk about, particularly at the moment, is how I'm basically stuck in ELO hell. Basically, Nova 2 slash Nova 3 ELO. I've been yo-yoing back and forth these ranks for about the past four or five weeks now. So I've got to try and concentrate again. The issue of doing this live is I'm trying to concentrate. As you can see, this is basically the reason why I'm stuck between the ranks because I'm not very good at what I'm doing. First of all, again, this is solo queue, so I have absolutely no control over my team. And for some reason, it does feel that I've been put in quite an interesting band the past couple of weeks now. I don't know whether I've had a lot of reports come to my account or not, but I do seem to be put with quite, not toxic, but very uncommunicative, unfriendly people. In stark contrast, I've actually been playing a lot of Face It as well, and let's just be honest, Face It is a completely different game. Everyone seems to communicate, everyone seems to be working as a team, unlike at the moment where everyone tends to play for themselves, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm playing it purely for myself, I want to get the kills, which isn't the way to play CSGO. CSGO is a team game. However, I don't particularly experience team games. The past like 50 matches I've played, there's been very little to no teamwork in all of them. So I've kind of just had to adapt and play like everyone else does. Which, yeah, is it very incorrect, but hey, that's unfortunately how you survive to play this game. So, it does seem, as I was saying earlier, that I am stuck in ELO hell. I can win 10 matches and lose one, and it doesn't seem to matter as I get stuck on the door, which is amazing. That's going to work. This is the reason why. Okay, got to play long now because we've lost a guy long to an AK. That could be interesting. Purple defend me. He's probably not going to defend me. Ah, Awful. Actually awful. That was awful skill. Thank you. That was amazingly bad. Good job there. Oh, a nice nightmare. Quite rare actually, I checked the value of that and that's about $300 I think now, so that price is insane. He's not going to clutch, he's just going to save it. Oh well, he didn't get a single kill. Amazing. Admittedly, I should have got a couple of kills there, but I just suck at this game. Which again, come back to why I'm stuck in ELO hell. The rank at the moment is skilled, but not too skilled. And I'm hoping now I'll get a couple of examples today, but maybe not of players that just tend to... Um, 
not fully understand how to play the game. They will have a habit of not planting the bomb. Plant, if they did plant the bomb, they'll plant it incredibly badly, and then they'll just kind of leave the site, hunt players. That is kind of the issue at the moment, because players are playing purely selfishly for themselves. There doesn't seem to be any team played any of the games I've played. So no one will want to plant the bomb when they can go for hunt for frags, which is what people tend to do, and why we've lost so many rounds in the past. I've lost so many rounds in the past through people being two, three players up on the T side and not planting the bomb in time and actually time running down. That's happened four times in the past five games. The most frustrating thing ever. But yes, I have purposely tried not to get annoyed at the team because again, getting angry in CSGO doesn't help anyone. You need to be calm, relax, something that I tend not to be. Particularly in team games, I tend to want to win. I'm quite competitive for that kind of thing, which is why I'm playing the competitive shooter. But it just doesn't tend to go very well. Okay. well actual communication. The f it's We're now in round four, and the first communications happen, and it was a call for B. I can't see anyone on the map. There's lots of Molotovs going down, but again, they could fake it. I'm just going to hold on A. Because we could get a lurker. Okay. No one had any idea... The bomb wasn't spotted. I like how they got annoyed at me saying, oh, it's a B, but the bomb wasn't spotted. I've watched the bomb, wow. Through the wall, nice shot. Again, we've um, we've lost very badly. We won the first, well, we won the first two rounds, and now we're just gonna lose. Which is good, I like losing. Losing's great. There's nothing better than losing. Of course, that's sarcasm. Just give us now, see where they're up. Oh. He might actually get take a lot of damage from the bomb here. Yep, I thought so. I thought it was way too close to that bomb. So he tried to save and then just got instantly stomped. Great play. And then again, I can't really say much because I'm only 4 and 2. Uh, P90 again. People don't communicate, they just buy whatever they want. So we've got people saving, people buying. It makes no sense whatsoever. There's no team communication at all. I guess we're just going to buy. But yeah, it's just a complete mess. People are just changing on bomb sites because why not, I guess. It's just a mess. And I guess that's kind of the whole issue we're having at the moment with CSGO and actually quite a few games. I think it's also got similar things like Dota 2 at low MMR ranks. It's just a case of people just pay for themselves. And I guess that's also what another reason why services such as like Facey and ESA, R -E -S -C -A, are incredibly popular at the moment because they have been popular for the past couple of years for the sole reason of it encourages people to play as a team, the people that actually dedicate to the game rather than what we've got at the moment, which is five people completely solo queuing, completely randomly playing, hoping to get kills, and not working as part of a team. And yes, I agree that the fact that at the moment, I most definitely am not playing well. I'm not playing as part of a team. I am playing purely selfishly. I should be waiting for the actual blue to come around to actually help, but that's not Defuse, 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 defuse. I don't have a defuse kit, do I? Oh, no. He's coming. Nice call cool team. I shouldn't have listened to that, to be fair. I should not have listened. But hey, whatever. I also should have hardly had smoke, but anyway. I guess that's the point where optically I'm having at the moment is I'm stuck in this rank and I will be forever. It's the point where my pure skill I say pure skill, but skill, pure skill will not get you out of this rank. It's something that I don't have. But even if you did, it's a case of you need to put a lot of dedication and hours into the game to any, get anywhere near ranking out of these ranks. I'm sure if you search up ELO or globally or whatever rank you are, you're going to see it. You'll be stuck. Once you hit a certain skill cap, you'll be stuck there due to the fact of either you've hit the what's, talent limit of yourself or the fact that you are... And in many cases, just unable to put the time in to improve upon it. And the issue of CSGO particularly is that it only has a four week cooldown. I should be concentrating on what's happening here. So after four... Thanks. After four weeks of not playing matchmaking, your rank disappears. So it means that the people that do have ranks are people that play quite frequently. At least played in the past four weeks, which kind of pushes up the ranks. Or as I say, pushes down the ranks meaning all the players that uh, haven't played the game in years who would have the lower ranks because they've stopped playing because they've got the lower ranks don't exist anymore so it pushes the skill ceiling even higher meaning you're kind of stuck here stuck here with a team that doesn't communicate and I agree but as I was trying to get to the point earlier before we tried to 
defuse the bomb more, is actually okay. Is actually the fact that yeah, I should communicate better with the team. But my personal experience of this is when you try and become this in-game leader position. You just mainly get thrown back in your face. People will question, like, why are you saying that? Why are you deserving? Why are you telling me what to do? People go into this mental, in mentally thinking, I am playing solo. I am going to carry the team on my back. And of course, in most of the games I've played, that's not the case, both for myself and for other players. Of course, occasionally you will come across just a player that is massively underranked or a smurf account where they will quite literally carry the whole team on their back. And quite often, I face that player. So, oh, I can hear him. I knew it was there. There we go. Nice. I don't know, there's an Oops. Okay, I got an M4. That's not quite wanted, but I got the M4 out of it, so <laughs> that's something. I got some Zeus, nice. But stuck on this rank is not fun at all. It's not fun! Not fun at all. Other things I plan on doing in the future, I would love to do some Tarkov. It's a game that I'm actually shit scared of. Not for the much the fact of it being a horror game, more for the fact that you'll spend hours and hours finally getting the best character, the best gear, going into a raid and instantly losing all to potentially hacker, but more like someone who's once again higher skilled than I am. Which again, as been proven today, even on CSGO, my skill isn't great. I tend to be out of position quite a lot right now, I've got to try and play position, as it clearly play on site. Doesn't matter anyway. I was going to get sandwiched regardless on that one, I should have tried to take the kill, should have tried to fall back potentially, but again, I didn't. And that's something I need to work on personally, is trying to play the game more defensively, particularly on CT. I need you to think, okay, you've lost this site, fall back, rather than try and hold the fight. But again, that's just a pure selfishness of CSGO at the moment where you've got to try and particularly solo queuing or even matchmaking at the moment as a whole you've got to play selfishly <laughs> purple does not care it's the last round he's going for the exit frags <laughs> good job great job this is actually a CT sided thing I mean it's but it's a bar. There's no point. Why you vote? Yeah, you can vote to kick someone, but it's not going to get replaced. And I think if you vote to kick someone, you don't actually get the money either from it. So quite literally, all you're doing is make it even harder to win. What's the point in making it harder for yourself? Because at the end of the day. Even if Purple doesn't get a single bullet off and actually hits someone with next X amount of rounds, he's still going to have view, he's still going to have information. Even if he doesn't give it, the minimap app will give us information. I'm the bomb carrier, so I don't want to play too aggressively here, but then again, I don't think it matters, to be honest with you, at the moment. I don't think we're particularly going to win many rounds. We did manage to win a pistol round last time, but that didn't tend to go very well. I guess we're trying to play onto B site. They're going to have players, I can hear players rotating right now. That's another block, I don't particularly want another block. Nice. How could I tell that was going to happen? Green is still playing. I've got the bombs, so I don't really want to be the first one on site, but if blue push at the same time, we can make this quite interesting. Uh, green's got a connector. Some different. Okay, good, 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 good. Not particularly good. There's another guy down there. Team, please. <clears throat> Again, my inability to hit players didn't help me there at all. A very bad, bad play by me there. I've tended to go for the spam, which is tends to be the way to play the actual glock, particularly close range, is just spam it and hope that the enemy team doesn't have armour. There we go, we actually, wow, we actually got a pistol round again. It doesn't seem to help much because they've recently done changes to how the loss bonus works. So I believe the loss bonus for, as you can see, for just below the scoreboard, the loss bonus for CT is now two, well, that should now be three if they lose again, so they've got tons of money. 
So they could probably do a decent buy considering we actually lost four people as well players last round. They are easily gonna have enough to buy decent SMGs slash probably a FAS. And armor. And grenades. So yeah, this could go this probably will go very badly. Communication is definitely the strongest part of matchmaking at the moment. I would say I'm interested to start playing Dota, but okay, just open the door and yeah, sure. If I can reveal me like a fucking prize on a game show. Today you could win the bomb carrier. Instantly shot in the head. I did say that was going to buy. I didn't expect an XM shotgun, but then again, what do you expect, Julies? And now AK. Okay. And now an AK, even better. One on one with an AK. Wow, okay. <laughs> nice 4K. Was that the one that opened the door to me, revealing my position? Probably. Good old game. Good old CSGO. Who doesn't love CSGO, hey? Who doesn't like solo queue in CSGO? It's all fun. 5-5, five, five, scoreline. I don't have the bomb for runs. Are we going B? Yeah, we're going to go B. Let's see if I can learn up a flash or a smoke. I don't know any smokes. I'm just going to play it randomly and hope for the best. There we go. I don't know what that's going to smoke. I don't actually learn smoke properly on this map. Probably should do, but again, considering that we're playing on Nova 2 slash 3, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but people tend to just rush anyway. You could have the best laid out smokes ever, but if some guy fucking trains you a bit... A, what say, like a, a P90, UMP, MP7, MP9. Doesn't really matter what you got. Go to fight, flash. Honestly. Throwing This game. It wasn't particularly hard to organise this actually. First game of the day. Perfect example of what the issue with, also my personal issue, but the issue with matchmaking as a whole, the reason why people get stuck on ranks, because particularly if you solo queue, even if you don't solo queue, you're basically stuck here at the moment. There's not that much you can do about it, apart from putting a lot more hours. I guess probably the best example of why it's incredibly difficult to rank up at the moment. Is there's not really any new players coming to CSGO. So the people that are playing CSGO are people who've been playing it for years and years and years, so they've already got their skill levels. Years ago, I'll say years ago, like 2014, 2015, I believe, possibly 2016, before they changed their ranks, I was actually, well, let's just say I got to a very high rank. I didn't quite get to LEM. But I probably could have if I'd have put more hours in and almost instantly Valve changed the ranks, put everyone back a bit because there's so many global elites. I think like 5% of the player base was global elite. At the moment it's now 0.5% of the player base, so they massively reduced by 10%. Or oh, was there a player there? Yeah, there was. You got the information on me. I should have watched that one. There we go. The big curve at some point was massively disjointed compared to what it is now. I would say, yeah, it probably makes a lot more sense to only have 0.5% of the player base at the best rank rather than 5%. I do agree with that one, but it did tend to, well, particularly for myself, it massively demotiv demotivated myself. I kind of thought, why would I want to play a game where I was almost LEM and now I'm stuck playing? And now I'm basically stuck at, well, I think I was like Nova. Never four? I guess I'm dropping because I'm the only one that actually listens to people. But yeah, kind of stuck. Paying no attention. I've literally paid no attention to the game, or very minimally, and I'm top fragging. I think for me that kind of says a lot about the whole situation. I can play games and I can top frag nine times out of ten, but I'm still stuck at this rank, and that's a an issue with the whole system that there's just no new players coming in. There was a point where China was coming in, but again, that has no effect on my server because I'm playing on the European servers, particularly the Western European servers. And there's very little to no new people come into the game. 
if people, younger people, want to start playing a first-person competitive shooter, they tend to play Valorant because it's a newer game. It's a more popular game. Let's not use that because it's going to go badly. There's a player there. Oh, There's a yeah, there's one. How did he not die? Thank you. <laughs> 33 damage. Okay, good, 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 good. Again, really sloppy playstyle, but it somehow got the score. Match point, okay. Through just pure luck. We might actually win the game. Something that I didn't particularly expect considering after our CT side, we were 5 3 and it's a CT sided map typically. It does look like the enemy team has either fallen apart or they just have lost all communication, which is quite common in this rank. I don't know what people's experiences are at high ranks, whether people actually play the game properly or whether it's just a generic thing where if you are playing matchmaking on the CSGO servers, you basically are stuck with this. This is what you get. I, I guess with a free-to-play game, you quite literally do get what you pay for. You can pay money and get face it servers and actually get a decent server, or you can get the free-to-play CSGO experience, which this isn't. This is a prime account. This is an account that has existed since 2014. And yet, I'm still stuck with what's currently happening. It does sound like I'm complaining a lot. I am, I'm not. It's just a kind of my perspective of why the system may actually need to be updated. I don't quite, again, like, the issue is to go, like, okay, well, what's the solution? And the answer is, I don't have one. I don't think anyone has one. That's the unique flaw with competitive shooters or competitive games in general. How do you set the balance? If you make too many ranks too easy to progress, then you kind of get the situation where you progress instantly you could go up and down ranks every game you play you go up and down up and down that doesn't help anyone in fact that would again demotivate people similar to what i'm having at the moment where i'm nova 3 then nova 2 then nova 3 then nova 2 it doesn't motivate me at all to continue to play in the game just feeling that every time i do rank up thinking i'm finally getting out of these elo hell i'm put straight back in it by having a couple of bad games with very thank you with very little things going on does seem as a whole we need to do something with the competitive match scene in most games again i can't speak for say league of legends dota but i guess i can speak for dota because i do know a little bit of dota but they've got a solution but like other competitive games like valorant i don't know what their system is it doesn't help that we actually don't see our elo it's a fictional number that can change on a daily basis. They can completely change the ranking system today. If you have 2,000 ELO, you are now gold level 1, but tomorrow that might be supreme. I don't know. Interesting. Nice. Purple, purple, go be, go be, go be, purple. Hopper. Scout, I like. Scout. Ah, uh, almost. But yeah, that's my current thoughts on the system, how it goes. Hopefully there'll be more videos, hopefully more upbeat videos, more co-op videos with my friends, but we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm going to end it there and see how many videos I don't upload in the next couple of years because very my streak. I'll do about four videos and then get bored. So I might see you guys again in 2044. That being said, I don't think anyone watches, so it doesn't really matter. And if anyone got to this part of the video, comment, say I somehow did it. Don't know how, but comment, let me know, and I'll be able to actually apply to you. That won't happen. It doesn't matter. And it just keep to the end. In which case, thank you. But anyway, that's it for now. That's my rant about matchmaking systems on CSGO. Regular content will resume tomorrow. I guess.